The moon's shadow went from west to east and cast a 70 mile wide shadow. Why didn't the shadow go from east to west and cast a 2,159 mile wide shadow? Because Earth does not move. The sun is what moves. God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs, and for seasons, and for days and years, and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven, to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also, and God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. They tried to hide God. He's making his creation known again. The 2017 solar eclipse, the event that flattened my entire world. You know, the entire hype and attraction with the 2017 solar eclipse was all about the sun and the moon appearing in the sky at the same size. This was a big attraction. and. You had the moon exactly the same size as the sun. On the days preceding the eclipse, I expected to see uh, a shadow that covered most of the continental United States. The moon being 2,159 miles wide, and that's approximately the same distance from Canada to Mexico. So, you know, that's what I expected. And instead, what we got was a 70 mile wide shadow. So uh, immediately when I realized that, and I didn't realize it until after the event happened, that that's all we were getting was a 70 mile wide shadow. Uh, so I was a little disturbed by that and I went in to try to figure out why that happened. And so I ran right to NASA's website and looked at what they were saying and they gave me this, this diagram <clears throat> off of their website with our sun being so huge that it would fill the entire sky if you looked up at it. Now that's not what I was taught, and that's not what anybody's taught in school. We're taught that the sun is 93 million miles away, and we can look up any day of the week in our sky and see that the sun is, by all practical purposes, the same size as our moon. And that's exactly what we see in the eclipse is sun and moon the same size and <clears throat> NASA and the schools have taught me my entire life that sun rays light rays from the sun come in at a completely straight line into the earth but we don't have any uh, numbers or anything like that going on. For 99.99% of all things that we see, straight sun rays work perfectly, except for a solar eclipse. It doesn't work out there. If we had <clears throat> straight sun, sun rays coming in, which we're told happens on everything else the moon is 70 miles wide so now they have to change all of the physics 
So they draw a diagram with the sun so huge it would fill the entire sky. The reason they have to do this is to justify the 70 mile wide cast shadow from the moon. In this diagram we see the cast shadow from the moon and it's 70 miles wide. The center blue line is about a 10 mile wide line and that would be the umbra, the darkest area. Now the rest of it's all penumbra. The only way to get this is you have to have a sun that's much bigger than the moon. So when you put the moon over it, you'd see a whole lot of sun on the outer edge. To better understand what an umbra and a penumbra are and what causes them and why NASA uses a huge uh, sun, let me explain just what causes an umbra and a penumbra, then you'll better understand. Umbras and penumbras are the names for two kinds of regions in a shadow that have different amounts of light in them. Umbra is the part of the shadow where all of the light from the source is blocked by the shadowing object. A penumbra is the region around the umbra where the shadow is only partial or imperfect. You get these when the light source is larger than a single point. These form because while some of the light from the source gets blocked by the shadowing object, not all of it does. If you are in a penumbra looking toward the light source, you will see part of it visible and part of it blocked. So the trick or the lie or you could even say the deception is that that's not what we saw. We didn't see the moon only partially covering the sun. We saw the moon totally cover the sun. Now penumbras, they're not possible when you cover the sun completely. Only if you cover it partially. So there's the trick and there's the lie. So if you followed what I was explaining there, uh, you're probably asking the same question that all the rest of us are asking. Uh, why the lie and what's going on? Well, what's going on is that they lied first and second that they've never left low earth orbit and they've said that on several occasions and uh, they've never gone to the moon uh, there's lots of videos that'll explain all the lies that they have told us you see we as individuals can't verify their space travel or their trips to the moon but on the other hand they can't hide the shadow from a solar eclipse and that proves that they're lying. So have you ever wondered if the moon is 239,000 miles in deep space why is it when you look up in the daytime at the moon why is it that we can see blue atmosphere behind it and in front of it as if it's peeking through the atmosphere something to think about well just maybe the moon is in our atmosphere and maybe that's why we see uh, blue behind it and blue in front of it and maybe the sun moves not the earth and uh, coincidentally just about everything that I've looked at matches the Bible perfectly and uh, God said the earth doesn't move that the Sun moves and he also said 
that the sun and the moon are in the firmament, which is just above our heads. Fuel for thought. And just maybe, NASA lies a lot. You cannot see stars. You know, and and uh, pretty much all the time you can see yeah. the stars. We were never able to see stars from the lunar surface or on the daylight side of the moon. Right. See, yeah, yeah. So you can see the stars. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we could not see stars. It's, it's not a black a cool void. I mean, the sky is... Uh, a deep black. Right. I mean, it's black, but there's all kinds of little polka dots. There's all the, there's all the stars there. And the cool thing is about it, you can see it during the day. We were never able to see stars. Yeah, you can. And there's more than stars. You can see planets. You can right. see...